Welcome back, everybody. We are right here at Scoreboard's Restaurant. It's overtime with Athletic Director Roman Banks. A closer look at Jaguar Athletics. Coach Roman Banks with a win in football season to go one and two on the year. Going for number two. That's right. And boy, what a big one. But going back to that Edwards Waters game, man, that was a, a fun game. Honored a great coach and Coach Pete Richardson. That was uh, fun to see him again. He's always got some great stories and what have you. Still looks good enough to be able to run down Still the football like field. Still like get on the field. Huh? Oh, my goodness gracious. Yeah, the guy was yeah. unbelievable. And uh, so good to see him. And, and first home game. Uh, and always you got to work the kinks out in the first home game. And then after that, good to go. Yeah, no question about it. I thought we had a pretty nice crowd. And we're thankful for Jaguar Nation coming out, supporting that classic in our first home contest. And uh, I think that's a contest that we can build up on. I'm sure our football team, after, you know, starting off, uh, two games on the road, you know, they need to come back home, get themselves together because we have a pretty good test yeah. and a big rivalry game this weekend. So we're excited about uh, what's about to take place here in the next couple of days. That's right. FAMU is probably one of the greatest non-conference rivalries in Southern University. I know it's the longest. It's going to be the 62nd time we play them, and it's pretty impressive. That is unbelievable. 1941 was the first game that Southern played against uh, FAMU. Then they played again in 1946 all the way to 2001. 56 straight seasons. Yeah, so you know, I, you know, I remember the fun days when I was assistant basketball coach and, and you know when they was coming on campus and those big games with Coach Rich uh, and his team versus uh, the Rattlers. So uh, that was the mindset and, and you know fast forward uh, to next season that that would be that first home game that Pete Richardson Classic. So yeah. You can see the, the chaos that I always promised that I wanted to make happen again of those rivalries, uh, if possible, and, and that'll be the first one coming back to our place next year. That's right. That's exactly right. I know the fans are asking me like crazy, and I'm sure they're asking you as well. Is that something that may be a long-term deal with FAMU, you think, after the 2020 game? Well, you know, uh, I was hoping yes. Yeah. Uh, but they had some turnover, and they went in another direction. So we really don't have a after next season we signed a two-year deal which was supposed to extend to a four-year deal uh, but they you know whatever way wasn't willing to do that they're going in another direction but uh, you know I, I'm talking to them again about hopefully in the future extending making this rivalry come back again and you know scheduling this you know at the institutions on your campus it once again depends on budget and a lot of other things so I think they had to rethink themselves no question about that all right, uh, the big uh, volleyball uh, tournament was in New Orleans, of course. Uh, Coach uh, taking her team down to the Crescent City. Yeah, and I think they got two sets out of it. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I, I think that was a, you know, they've been playing pretty good. They just got to get over the hump. Yep. And, uh, you know, I think she's looking forward when she can come back home and play a home match <laughs> as well. And we're looking forward to it also. I think she has the type of team that she wanted to test early and put her in a position that I think that she – she believe and I believe that uh, they have a good enough team to make a championship run this year. No question about that. And then, of course, soccer's uh, going heavy as well, playing it against Troy. We have some pictures for that as well. Uh, some slides we want to show you right here. So uh, getting good ones. Look at that. That's a great action uh, shot right there. As, uh, they're getting on. You can't, uh, you know, fault that team. They're going to keep fighting the whole way through. Oh, yeah, and they uh, had a good win uh, the mm -hmm. other night against uh, Nickel State. And so they are playing as we as we're in action. They're in action right now against UL Monroe. And so hopefully we can make it two in a row at home. Uh, they went out on the road, played some, uh, played well, but then come home with the victory. And they got home and was able to get a win against a pretty good Nichols team. So I'm excited about that out of conference win. No question about that. And of course, they're playing against ULM, and it's zero zero right now. So getting a good game against the ULM. Yeah, you know, we got a good downpour a uh, little early and we, you know, the game got started a little late. We had to make sure for safety reasons that that uh, the field wasn't bad and, and let it dry out some and, and go through all normal process to take place to make sure that safety come first. And I think that it's going to be a good game. Lones the, you know, it doesn't light, uh, lightning doesn't strike, then they'll right. be playing if it rains. That's exactly <laughs> right. That's And then we had our press conference for basketball season. And so great to see Coach Funchins up there because that guy not only brought in his first year as head coach, brought him to the SWAC tournament and won it, brought him to the NCAA tournament in Starkville, gave uh, the uh, 
Lady Bulldogs, a tough test right yeah. there in the early part, yeah. but also was named uh, the rookie coach of the year in the, in the nation. Nationally. That's yeah. right. Nationally. So, uh, you know, that's a guy that, you know, you talk about being a part of the mix, and I think that 14 years on the bluff as assistant coach and uh, helped create that excitement that had already existed. Very humble guy. And I think it's all about he's the type of person that was ready for his moment. Right. And I say that all the time, you know, uh, uh, as you prepare yourself and uh, as humble as it is, that's a, a good example for young coaches to, to be ready to seize their moment. So I think he, you know, through his transition, he, he soaked up a lot of knowledge yeah. and uh, understood what was the best way for him to coach his team, and he did just that. And I don't know why, but sometimes I want to go to Coach Sean Woods and for some reason say Sean Green. Am I, is Tommy Green's ghost around here somewhere? I want to keep saying that. Sean looks very excited about the upcoming basketball season. Yeah, I think if you ever had a chance to, to look at the 11 new people that he added to his roster, and you look at the size compared to last year and in and, and all positions over the court, and, and, and I think it's important uh, some coaches have to have the type of kids to play in their system. Yeah. And uh, I think that's a philosophy conversation because some, we always say some coaches can take yours and beat you with yours, right. and some coaches need to have theirs. That's right. And I think his system, uh, you know, is very up-tempo and it's a, it's a go-get-you-now type system, a lot different from the way I played. And so I think that he had to go get his type of athletes, uh, long, lanky, you know, they all can can uh, play different positions, and, and I'm excited about the talent pool that he has. Now it's just about putting 11 newcomers together. That's right, and, and obviously getting ready for that Texas two-step starts off SWAC team. Uh, <laughs> you know, and I asked Coach uh, Funches on this, did he like this year the way the, the schedule flops? Every year it flops back and forth. This year we start with the Texas two swing, and then with that, month of January, you're playing a lot of your games uh, at home. February and towards the end of February you're playing on the road right but the good thing about that is March you've got those games right there at the FG Clark you finish up at home yeah and that's the exciting thing about it I mean you know luck of the draw you're talking about playing Texas the Texas schools and then you come back and playing all corn and Grambling right right out the gates I know and so you know for for Southern University those teams are basically the teams that challenge you every year so you know, you want to get off to a good start. You want to make sure that you're at least two and two, or hopefully that is better than that. But it's some type of way you get yourself in a bad position early. It just makes it tough to fight uh, throughout the year to get back up there to be a contender, one of those top four seats. So you got to come out of there with something. So I said to say that it is, it's a sense of urgency to be right. ready early. Right. Yeah. Any idea where the tournament's going to be, the SWAC tournament? Uh, uh, basically, as of right now, uh, the tournament is going to be back in Alabama, and uh, and uh, I, I thought that the tournament was wasn't bad there. Yo, I thought the crowd was right. I thought the uh, the size of the venue was mm -hmm. perfect. Uh, that city invested into that tournament. I think uh, uh, when we had our athletic directors meeting along with the commissioner, they produced more revenue than they ever produced. And so uh, that's what it's all about. If wherever you're going to have a championship game, people have to support it. And uh, Birmingham is supporting it pretty good. That's right. Ought to be fun to see that big time. I can't wait when it's uh, tournament time, and it's it's just great. March Madness is one of the most exciting times in no sports. No question about it. No you question. Never know what's no. going to happen. Nope. That's what I love about it. All right. When we come back, we're talking cheerleaders. We got. Do we get Coach Taylor Stewart on the show? We get it. We get Energy Stewart on the show. We got her on the show. Okay. Unbelievable. We're going to be having her coming up right here next. As we continue, this is uh, the Overtime Series with Athletic Director Roman Banks, a closer look at Jaguar Athletics. I'm Chris Powers, and we're right here at Scoreboards Restaurant. We've got some great specials to tell you about. I had some cheese sticks, mozzarella cheese sticks wrapped with bacon. With bacon? With bacon. I was starving. All, I haven't eaten nothing all day. And that was the first thing I ate. That was pretty uh, you good. You know, I'm about to say they have the bar shrimp and the crab tonight. I yes, think I'm grab indeed. A bit. They do. I saw, I saw it earlier You've with the sausage. Her? Okay, yeah. Yes, indeed. All right, we'll be back right Put after this. Put my in right now. <laughs> <laughs> From Scoreboard's Restaurant, right here on Pelican Sports TV.
of hardworking Americans and businesses will always be the lifeline of this great country. As a business owner, you understand the importance of your reputation. In times of uncertainty, you need a real lawyer who's serious about protecting you and your business. You need a problem solver. You need the law firm of Clayton and Fouget. Tony Clayton is a proven trial lawyer. He'll defend you and your business to the fullest extent of the law. Protect your investment and call the law firm of Clayton and Fouget today. It's game day. A day that should be spent in the living room, not the kitchen. So next game, you just worry about the score. Because we've got the food covered. With hand-battered, cooked-to-order, always fresh, never ever frozen chicken fingers, craveable cane sauce, crispy crinkle-cut fries, and jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. Raising Cane's chicken fingers, one love. Official chicken of Southern University. Woo! <laughs> Ram pickups. We'd rather sell them than move them. It's Salisbury's Ram Power Days. All 19 Ram Bighorn pickup trucks, $11,000 off. That's right. All 19 Bighorns in stock, $11,000 off. Get them now at Salisbury's Chrysler. Dodge Jeep. and Ram in Baton Rouge. When you play the Louisiana Lottery, you may not see where your dollar goes. Mm. To the potential it nurtures. To the future it fuels. But with every dollar you spend, you're supporting K-12 public education. Even if you don't see the change you're making, our students do. Thank you for giving us a reason to smile. All right, welcome back, everybody, right here. It's the Overtime Series with Athletic Director Roman Banks, a closer look at Jaguar Athletics, right here live uh, from Scoreboards Restaurant. And uh, I tell you what, some delicious food. Like I said, I had those mozzarella sticks. You were just eating just a second ago, Taylor. What did you eat? I had the smoked wings. So I'm Smoked wings? Smoked wings. Holy moly, that does sound good. <laughs> yes. That does. And, and Baton Rouge also, too, right here, Baton Rouge Harley Davidson event every night, well, actually, on Thursday, September 19th. Live music, complimentary hors d'oeuvres, lots of drawings by Baton Rouge, Harley Davidson, and scoreboards, $15 beer, beer buckets, $2 well drinks. Come on in and visit and enjoy. That is this Thursday, in fact, every Thursday night, so check that out. Uh, well, uh, Taylor Stewart, glad to have you on the show. You Thank always you. told me that we had to get you two or three weeks advance notice. Yes. We had to check with your agents and all that, your managers yes. Yes. and stuff like that. Very busy. Yes. So you're the head uh, cheer coach at Southern University. Yes, I am. Now, the was one it, and only. Was it difficult to come to Southern University being a Grambling alum? Put you right on the spot <laughs> immediately. I, immediately. It was a little awkward at first. Uh oh, I'm getting some. I'm getting some jabs already. It was a little awkward at first, um, but I originally started in admissions and recruitment, actually recruiting kids to come to Southern. Um, All so, right, so y'all give that up. <laughs> That's good. So at this point, I feel like a, a Southern Knight, and I'm, right. I'm here. <laughs> you know what's so cool about the Southern Grambling series, I think? Yes, it's a little rivalry, but it's a friendly rivalry. It's not one of those, I mean, you've got a brother sitting on this side, and you've got a sister sitting on that side that went to Grambling. That one went to Southern at the Thanksgiving table. Maybe a little jabbing going on, but it's nothing bad at all. It's a great, I think it's one of the greatest rivalries in all of sports. Yes, and I'm, I'm a true SWAC baby. Um, my father went to Mississippi Valley. My grandparents taught at Valley for over 20 years. They wow. have a dorm dedicated to them. Um, so I've always known about the SWAC school, so it was pretty much a, what SWAC school are you going to go to? Okay. So, uh, and I have cousins that went to Grambling and Southern, so I really, <laughs> really wow. everywhere. Well, I tell you, you're doing a great job with the cheerleading squad, because I'll tell you this, now, I don't know how y'all do this. I, you know, I don't get an opportunity to watch you in the football games because I'm doing the play-by-play -play and, and, and concentrating on where the ball's at. But during the uh, JAG Fest, where we had the players come out and all the other teams come out and all that stuff, 
One of the cheerleaders touched the scoreboard, I would think, at the F.G. Clark Activity Center. How do they get that high up? Well, we go to weights and we practice tossing. Um, that's actually like a goal for us sometimes Goodness. to see how far, how high we can get our flyers. Um, especially when they're so small. It's, right. The higher you go, the closer you are to doing more skills on the way right. down. Right. <laughs> and I also think the tumble that they do, and I'm, I'm assuming that's what that is, tumble all the way down the court. Yeah. Unbelievable. We have some great tumblers. Um, we have some great kids from all across the country that are able to tumble on mats, on the turf. I have a few kids actually that can tumble on concrete. If so. you see me tumbling, <laughs> you catch me because something happened. I just fell out of a truck or down to the, uh, you know, unbelievable. That's amazing the way y'all do that. Uh, the NCA College Cheer Camp uh, back in August, rally routine, you won that. We did win that. That is the first time that Southern University Cheer has won rally routine. Look at that. See? So we are very proud of our win. We are excited as we get prepared for nationals in April. So right now we're just kind of starting to put the little pieces together for the big mm -hmm. puzzle in April. Now we have a, a picture right here I want to show you too. And how long, is it, how long does it take? And there's the picture right there. It's pretty nice. How long does it take to get a crew ready? Because obviously baseball is done so nobody really thinks about sports during the summer but then you know southern the athletic program the and the administration's always working to get ready for football when do y'all begin getting ready for football season we get ready starting at trouts so at maybe about two weeks after trouts they got a workout plan they receive videos of cheers and dances wow. um, different things of that nature but actually to get prepared for camp we had about two and a half days um, probably a total of maybe 15 hours to mm -hmm. get ready to go to camp. So we did a lot of work at the hotel. Wow, <laughs> we yeah. did a lot of work on the bus right. just to make sure we were ready for that. And from now, we kind of start planning for competition. So a lot of the stuff you'll see at games will be things that we incorporate at the final puzzle um, when we get to Daytona. Were you a cheerleader as well? I was. I kind of came out the womb cheering. Yeah. I have pretty much been cheering since I could talk and walk um, various all-star programs college high school everything like that and when I was younger I did spend a lot of time with the gym owners so I spent a lot of time in the office and understanding why do we do this where does the budget come from what's the professionalism aspect um, and I think I'm here to enhance our Southern University cheerleaders for not just cheer but where do we go after see that's what I was gonna ask you <laughs> so you do that immediately you was reading my mind <laughs> When did you begin as a cheerleader saying, you know, I'd like to do this, but I can do this better this way, I can do it that way, I can do it this way, I want to do this? Probably in undergrad, I, by my sophomore year, after I had gotten that good year out of all the football games, I was like, well, I want to do PR, so what am I doing next? So that was getting involved in SGA, that was Greek life, uh, running for court positions, different things like that, and that helped me want to do that with my kids now. So I have kids that are mass comm that come and take photos at different games. I've got kids who are nursing students who are literally nursing students. So wow. they're in nursing school, they're doing clinicals and they're getting their preparation here. And I think that's part of my job to help prepare them for when they leave mm -hmm. Southern, where we go now so that when they're time for them to return, they're able to give it to the next athlete. That's awesome the way you think that way. Cause that's coaches will tell you that a lot of coaches think that. Uh, how successful were you as a coach when they're retired? It's not by the wins and losses on the field. It's what you do after you graduate. Are they good, you know, uh, in the community and what have you? So I think that's a great way to do it. Now, can any classification get in to be a cheerleader? Does she have to be a sophomore, a junior, or, he does, or whatever? So the awesome part about being a part of athletics is we follow their rules. So that's going to be four years on the team. So if you come in and you're a junior, of course, you still have a couple more years to go as long as you haven't cheered. Um, the great part about that study hall still, that's pretty much everything the athletes get, we're getting the exact same thing. So that's an awesome part that a lot of schools, and if I'm correct, we're the only school in the SWAC where we're under athletics and we're getting the exact same student athlete experience that your football players are getting, your basketball players and everybody like that. Mm -hmm. uh, we do take grad students, but you only get that first year of grad school. Uh, but of course, we welcome the best of the best because we right. are the best of the best. Well, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. Now you talked about cheering at a long time. You don't see a lot of guy cheerleaders in high school but they are all in college always th that way so I mean when do they begin I mean so I have a few different kids like that I have some kids that started with gymnastics and in eventually transitioned into cheerleading as they got older and then I have kids that had a natural ability to tumble and extra strength so when they got to school and maybe a football or basketball or baseball didn't work out it was where else can I come and cheerleading is an open avenue um, I like to think that Cheerleading is open to everyone, right. so it's great to be able to build that next person up when you have skill, raw skill, raw talent. 
and I have a lot of raw talent that I can't wait to see as it progresses over the next few years. And you know what's impressive is that you know some guys, football players, will say like, okay, well that guy's a cheerleader and what have you. But it, me doing play-by-play -play basketball and watching them and holding the cheerleaders up with one hand, it takes a lot of strength. Definitely, these. I mean, balance these, everything. <laughs> these guys are putting two and three girls on top of them. Right. Uh, especially if you see us this weekend at FAMU, you're going to see some very creative stunts involving one and two people, but two and three on top of them. So that's what we strive for, and that's what the great part about having weights and everything like that. We we put them up. Right. So, and I think it's great. Now, where do you learn new ideas? Do you watch the pro teams, or do you watch other colleges? Where do you get new ideas, or they come in your head? We take a little bit of everything. The kids will tell you I'm a vision person, so I might see something on, on Instagram and go to sleep and come to practice the next day like, oh, I had a vision. Let's put all three of these things together. And they probably think I'm nuts, but <laughs> I wake up in the middle of the night like, hey, let me write this down. We can do this tomorrow. Um, so we really take a lot of a little bit of everything, but we put the Southern flair on it. That's the big thing that I love about Southern Cheer is there's a different flair that they have that no other school across the country, even in the SWAC has. Now you being a cheerleader, did you ever get on top of the pyramid? How do y'all do those pyramids is unbelievable because if I'm on the top and I'm looking way down, I'm like, oh my goodness. Prayer. That, <laughs> I like that. Prayer is probably like the best that. answer and, and trust. My goodness. And trust. Um, I have great friends that I was like, please don't let me fall. Right. So I, we, we keep that mentality. Please don't let anybody's kid fall. Is it the lightest one at the top? Do y'all do it that way? Sometimes it's the lightest. Sometimes it's maybe the shortest. Um, it really just depends. I was a second level, so that meant I went to on top of somebody, and then I caught another girl on top of me. So doing that, you know, I'm not a feather. So you got to be strong to get me, and you got to be even stronger when that next girl comes. So it's all about pretty much having versatile athletes. So I have a lot of athletes that play multiple roles on my team, right. and that's what's most valuable. Right. How crazy will it be for you at the Bayou Classic, knowing that you know Grambling's over there, you're over here, and I, you know, and, and again, as we talk about it, because first of all, let me tell you, you're just not in the cheer department and the cheer coach. But you also do other things for Southern University. So she is, she's got everything. Trust me, I'm in the meetings with her on Mondays. <laughs> she's always got great ideas and she does this and that. So you're always involved with Southern University. So I'm not going to question your heart. <laughs> but again, going to that college and being your alma mater, I mean, it's got to be like, hey, that's Southern. And then after that, when the game starts, I know you, you'll get your adrenaline going and it's Southern. It's going to be really interesting. Um, the Probably the most interesting part is going to be when the cheer team actually goes to the Gremlin side and there's going to be people, of course, like, oh my gosh, wait. Like, and so many people didn't know I was even the coach until the article got released. Right. So it's kind of like, it's just going to be fun. It's exciting. I'm excited to continue this relationship. The old coaches always have relationships all together. So I'm excited to continue to work with my coach right. who was there when recruited me. So I'm excited to just continue that relationship and shut them down. But knowing how, yes, that's what, <laughs> shut them down. You just heard that? Because knowing how competitive she is at the end, even though that's her alma mater, yeah, we won. Uh -huh, we got this. We won. We want to go to Celebration about. Bowl. That's so. what I'm talking about. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much for being here. Finally got on the air. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. You think there's a shot? We'll even get Denise on the air? No. <laughs> I think her agent is busy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, Taylor, thank you so much for being on the program. And thank you for everything you do at Southern University. She's, she's one of the assets we have at Southern University, behind the scenes that you may not see all the time. But she is one of the assets big time. Uh, so we thank her for everything she does. We'll continue with the uh, show right here from Scoreboards Restaurant, right here on Corsi Boulevard, right smack in the middle between Sherwood and Airline Highway. Come find us. It's a lot of fun uh, here. We've got some great food here, some boiled shrimp, boiled crabs, and what have you stuff right here. And, of course, you know, Coach Banks is going to tell you about his overtime scoreboard uh, bread pudding. That They have two servings just for him right here coming up in just a moment. I can't even touch one. So we'll be back with more of that. The overtime series with Athletic Director Roman Banks continues right here on Public and Sports TV. Road trips just got a whole lot easier. The 2018 Nissan Rogue. Now with Nissan Intelligent Mobility, featuring technologies like available ProPilot Assist, which helps keep an eye on the road ahead and helps you stay centered while you're turning this lane into memory lane. Get to Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. 
Care South offers a wide range of comprehensive medical, behavioral health, and dental services. On behalf of the staff and board of directors, we want to thank the Parish of Ascension, East Baton Rouge, and Iberville for allowing us to serve you. Come out to any of our locations where family is serving families. I can still remember Charlotte's first day of kindergarten like it was yesterday. Now, she's heading off to college. So how are you feeling? I'm nervous. I'm also really excited. You know you're the first McKernan to not go to LSU in decades. <laughs> Promise me this, you'll wear purple and gold at all the UT <laughs> football games. Dad. Letting go isn't easy, especially for this Louisiana dad, but our children know family is always there for them. Just like when our clients come to us for help, they'll always be part of the Get Gordon family. We want to be your lawyers for life. Call 888-8888. Preparing a meal, it's a lot like preparing for a game. It involves hard work, the right plan, and attention to detail. Great food, that's our passion. A taste of Louisiana, handcrafted from scratch. Walk-ons, because everyone needs a little playing time. Home, away, any game day. And walk-ons will help you do game day right. What's the most important aspect of event hosting? Location. This is something that Bell knew from day one. That's why we're located in downtown Baton Rouge, across from the convention center, close to LSU, and right by the river. So with a friendly staff, award-winning cuisine, and a massive conference center of 10 rooms and 24,000 square feet capable of fitting more than 2,000 guests, what we offer is just as important as where we are. All right, welcome back, everybody. Right here, it's the Overtime Series with Athletic Director Robert Banks, a closer look at Jaguar Athletics. And uh, we, of course, here at Scoreboards Restaurant with some delicious food and always talking sports. We've got uh, some uh, volleyball players right now, uh, right here, uh, seniors uh, Samira Mohammed. How are you doing? I'm great, thank you. Awesome deal. Pick that up as close as you can, both of you. Right up there. There you go. And then, of course, Princess Stark. Princess Stark. I like that. So everybody called you Princess? Yes. Wow, cool deal. I like Game that. Of references. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom set a big standard on you when yes. she named you that. <laughs> awesome deal. Well, tell, first of all, tell uh, everybody where are you from, Miss Mohammed. I'm from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, so cool I'm right deal. at home. So where'd you go to high school? Baton Rouge High. Oh, cool. Yes. And yeah, Baton Rouge High, right down on Government Street. Very yes. nice. Uh, very nice. Uh, and they redid that, so it's yes, nice. Yes, it's beautiful. Did on the you get inside. to see the? Yes, yeah, so I saw the school before, and then thankfully my freshman year was the year that it reopened. Wow. Okay, cool deal. Princess, where are you from? And I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. Memphis. I was. We were obviously just over in Memphis this weekend. Yeah. Barbecue and all that kind of good really stuff for the barbecue. football game. That's right. And it was, <laughs> yeah. Every place you go to, barbecue this, barbecue that, barbecue this, so it was great. All right. Your thoughts of Coach Vanessa, and she's in the building, so be careful on that. <laughs> It could be laps involved or something like that. So what are your thoughts on Coach Vanessa um, Jacobs? I can definitely say that she has love for the game. Yeah. And whenever you bring such a passionate person to be a coach, you know that they're going to excel and share their good energy onto their players. So it's nice having a passionate coach. It's kind of scary sometimes when it comes down to conditioning. But other than that, it's really good. It benefits us as girls. Very good answer. She won't be running any laps this week. <laughs> that was good. Princess? Um, I'm going to say she, she really cares about us. Um, she wants us to ex excel. She sees the potential in us, and it's just us trying to see potential in ourselves. So that's really good. Yeah, you can see the passion arise about you girls, too, because of the fact that, you know, when you're seniors like you are this year and this is your last year. Yeah you'll see the alligator tears start to fall because she treats you all like her daughters and that's when you know you've got a great coach and she's mm -hmm. such a great person you know and big time well got a chance to go to hot atlanta how did y'all enjoy atlanta okay um atlanta atlanta um tournament was a really good learning experience it was the first time we were able to go out and play against a different team rather than playing against each other all the time so in that tournament we were able to learn a lot about what we needed to improve in practice. And I guess the key word for that tournament was confidence, play with confidence. So we really 
we learned how to play with confidence in that tournament. Right, and UT Arlington, obviously, uh, you know, good opponent there, and also New Orleans. Tell us what right. about New Orleans. I will say, even though New Orleans wasn't the outcome that we wanted, I was really proud of us. Playing in New Orleans all three games, we felt more like ourselves. It's really hard. Um, to bring in freshmen for such a short amount of time. We have to automatically have all this chemistry and act like we've been playing each other for years. So it was really, really good to finally feel like we're starting to have our rhythm. And I'm really excited for next week. I think volleyball, I was told by a friend of mine whose uh, wife is the volleyball coach at Virginia Tech, say it's one of the fastest growing sports there is for in sure. all sports. And that's impressive. Mm -hmm. uh, not only with the sand volleyball, but now, you know, with the I love watching volleyball during the Olympics. Yeah. Love it. I think it's competitive to watch how the ball flies and what have you. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, it's not just like we play volleyball. You know, when I was in high school, we played tournaments and all that stuff. We weren't playing sports and all that. And you just barely hit it and all that stuff. But, man, to see that ball explode yeah. off of y'all's hands on the college level is just majorly impressive. So what do you like most about playing volleyball at Southern University? Um, well, I'm a defender, and I think my favorite thing about playing volleyball is just how you're saying how girls like hit the ball so hard. I like to be the person where I get all their hard hits. Right. You know, really I just is. love defending it. I love playing. It just makes me truly happy. And there's got to be good communications. How many yeah. balls were hit and all that? Because sometimes sure. you're diving for the ball, out of bounds and what have you. You don't know who's hit what. Yeah. So y'all have good communication? Definitely the communication and trust within your players because if you don't communicate, like, you don't know who's going to get the ball. So that's the main point of the game. You have to communicate. And know what to do. If it's the second set up, then that, yeah. hey, you got to get over that net on the third one. What What is the best – what is the team that you've been playing at Southern University for as long as you have now, when you play the SWAC, what's the team you can't wait to face? Oh, that's a good question. I think Alabama A&M. Um, just like our team, they have a lot of returners, and so just seeing some of the same girls, you just remember them, and you're just so eager to beat them. Mm. Princess? Revenge. Um, <laughs> either Alabama A&M or Alabama State. Mm -hmm. um, those are really, really intense games, but also in SWAC, you can't hold, like, you can't look down on any team. You have to go in ready to play for every, every team. So, mm -hmm. but definitely Alabama State and Alabama A&M. Now let me ask you. For football, and I know basketball, there's trash talk. Is there trash talk? Hey, it's coming in your face next. Is there any trash talk in volleyball going on? Most definitely. Yes. Oh, wow. I'll be honest. But you I know, the net protects us. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so there is trash talk and go. I love that now. I'm big time. And a lot of people can't wait to see y'all at Seymour uh, Gymnasium this year. Hopefully y'all get home uh, very soon. I know y'all have a lot of tournaments leading up to that and y'all also have one here at uh, Seymour which will be coming up real soon. So what have you taken so far from your education and your playing time at Southern University? Um, it just makes me a better person. Like I think volleyball is mentally tough and it's pushed me to levels that I never knew that I had in myself. And that's also transferred to the classroom. So I think with this last season, I have developed, I've watched myself develop as a person and I have learned so much about myself. What about, let me ask you what you're uh, studying, what's your major? Civil engineering. Civil engineering, okay, you? So I'm a chemistry major. Cool deal. And volleyball has trained me discipline um, and Learning how to learn how to manage my time, and that's very important when you like when you graduate out like outside of college. So all of us told me that. Cool deal. My sister was a chemistry major, yeah, and she's working at Johnson and Johnson in Silicon Valley right now. So she's got a good job. So job. good luck. <laughs> and be proud of Southern University. <laughs> Tell us your thoughts on the academic center for the students right there. That's pretty cool to go to, right? I definitely appreciate that they've opened and expanded that out. It's so convenient to go somewhere if you don't have access to a computer, to print something real quick, and everyone there is so easy to talk to if you need help with anything. What about you? Um, I love how it's different places you can study. I study all the time. so. I know in the minute dawn it was just like one little spot. Now you can go anywhere in the building to study, and I like that. Cool deal. I like that big time. So what are you hoping to do now on the court for volleyball for your last season? And are you thinking about that last game? Does it always come in your head, this is it, or do you concentrate mainly on the game? 
Um, I always like to keep the mentality, play like it's your last. Wow. And so in any game that I'm playing, I won't be disappointed with myself just because I know I'm giving my full effort. And of course, time is going to fly by. It already yeah. has with so yeah. many games. But I, all I can do is enjoy it while I have it. All right. And anything, anything milestone that you want to get to as far as anything as far as the team goes? As the team, of course, I think the championship yeah, ring yeah, is definitely. what we Don't have in mind. <laughs> of course. Oh, Jacob say, Chris, come on, you're better than that. <laughs> so what about you? Who's Me, you? I'm a junior actually, so I have one more year. But I guess for this season is to make sure we're all in a mindset and have the same goal, because that's really important. Everyone on the team has to have the same mentality and want to win. Right. So once we get there, we're, we're going to be unstoppable. And you know, I, I have so much admiration for student athletes because of the fact not only do you have to do what a normal student does, majors and all that stuff, cramming and stuff like that and all that, but also you've got to play. Right. You've got to travel. You've got to be able to play and, and keep all that up. So is, is, is it tough to, to do that, to balance both? It is tough, sometimes missing out on labs or meetings, but as long as you have good communication and you, I think it's given me an opportunity to meet more and more people um, to, you know, help me fill in. And as long as the teachers are understandable, it's definitely doable. The number one, you have to communicate with your teachers day one of class. Let them know, like, I'm not going to be here on these days. How, what can I do to make up for these days? So right. communication is the key, especially being a student. You have to communicate. Well, thank you both for coming up here. Good luck. Thank and you. I can't wait to see a slide. Yo hoisting the trophy, <laughs> the, the SWAC trophy. Wouldn't that be cool? Yes, that's the goal. Yeah, and thank you for being a student at Southern University, and I know you'll represent Southern University very well. Both of you. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, when we come back, we're going to be talking more. This is the Overtime Series with Athletic Director Roman Banks. A closer look at Jaguar Athletics. We're right here at Scoreboards Restaurant. Come on out and get some delicious uh, uh, boiled seafood, boiled shrimp, boiled crabs, all that kind of good stuff. And, of course, that Overtime Series bread pudding with Roman Banks. It's right here. Some of the best you've ever had. Plus, we've got several TVs to watch all your sports and your coldest beverages in town right here at Scoreboards Restaurant. Back in a moment right here on Pelican Sports TV. I don't know. Good job. The birth of legends are storied in this conference. We must never forget our rich history. We now turn our gaze to the future. The new legends will emerge. New heroes to arise. The Southwestern Athletic Conference. Be our history. At Roadrunner Towing, we love our God, our children, our nation, and yes, our sports. So, let's play ball. big when you need to tow, either in East Baton Rouge or West Baton Rouge. Because at Road Runner Towing, we don't want an arm and a leg, we just we want, want your toes. Yeah! Legendary Import Group, exceptional service and a rare collection, you'll discover the only distinctive auto for the legend in you. We, we are, are legendary. legendary. I am legendary. I'm Team Legendary. I am legendary. I am legendary. Now that's legendary. Stop by Legendary Import Group today where our team is honored to serve you. We are legendary. Legendary Import Group, the only place for legendary care. The smart Baton Rouge business traveler travels out of Baton Rouge. Why? It's about not having to wake up hours early, fight traffic, and stand in long lines. It's also about BTR being closer, more convenient, with non-stops and short hops to anywhere your business takes you. It's smart. So for your business, if it's about being one step ahead and not dead on your feet, then it's about time you flew BTR. Baton Rouge Metro Airport. It's about time.
I can't imagine a day without music. You go downtown, you can find some music. You come uptown, you can find some music. Monday night, they got music. Every night of the week, there's music somewhere. Baton Rouge is a place where it's easy to make friends, it's easy to hear some music, and it's easy to come back. We got the music, we got the food, and we got good people. So with that combination, you can't lose. Right? Yeah, I'm come to lose it. All right, welcome back, everybody. We're right here at Scoreboard's Restaurant. This is the Overtime Series with Athletic Director Robin Banks, a closer look at Jaguar Athletics. Got a lot of Jaguar Nation in the house today. I like that. And uh, delicious food. I can hear them eating and all that kind of good stuff. And we can't wait uh, for uh, to eat right after we get done with it. They'll bring us some food out here with us right now. We've got Caitlin on uh, the program. Caitlin, how are you doing? I'm doing good. So beautiful. Thank you. Now, you are uh, also a Southern student, right? Yes, I'm a freshman. This is my first time. Freshman? Yes. Where are you from? Where are you, what school you went to? Scotlandville High. Scotlandville High, okay. Yes. And your big partner with Southern University, KVIC Collection, right? Yes. And y'all see that shirt with you got? Now, was that was that you that, that came up with that? Yes, so my name is Caitlin. Wait so. a minute, you're a freshman and you came up with your own collection? Yes. Holy moly! Unbel that's impressive. Mm -hmm. When did you start thinking about that? Right before I attended. <laughs> Unbelievable. So most kids are thinking about college, thinking about partying, but you come up with your own clothing line? Yes, yeah, actually a long story. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, tell us exactly, first of all, how it did get started. Okay, so my name is Caitlin, but my family and friends call me Kay. So that's Kay. And my middle name is Victoria, so oh, cool. K Vic. So right. I am my brand. All right. Um, as I graduated high school from Scotlandville, I wasn't sure what path I wanted to take. I didn't know if I wanted to attend college. I just knew that I wanted to be an entrepreneur. I know I wanted oh, to man. make money. I know I wanted to do something positive, something to impact the community. So I decided to start my own clothing brand because I have a big following on Instagram. So I've always gotten many emails, many DMs, compliments about my style. So why not turn that into revenue? Man, I'm, I'm not even your dad and I'm proud of you. That's pretty <laughs> impressive. Thank Unbelievable. You. So is it women's clothes? Yes, it's an online fashion boutique for women. All right, right here in Baton Rouge. And what is, what is it? Is it dresses, pants, all it's kinds of stuff? everything. Just the latest trends. It's my style. That's what makes it different. I only sell what I will wear because people shop with me because they like my style. So that's what I give them. My style. Is it when you look at your style, is it the type of blouse or the type of skirt or the type of uh, pants that you like? The, uh, the way it's cut or is it the, the colors, patterns? Or? There, it, it varies. I have a lot of things in my collection. It varies from streetwear to business wear, club wear, for the girls on campus. It varies. It varies. Right, and, and also for all kind of different seasons? Mm -hmm. Winter, fall, summer, you know, football season is coming up, Saints games, Southern games. We're going to have sweaters and all type of dresses, boots for that coming up, so yeah. Wow, so you do footwear as well? Yeah. Cool, now let me ask you, how does how does it all come up? Is it something like on an iPad? You draw it up on a, on a paper or something? No, it's actually, I have a, my own website that you can purchase through the website. I offer a local pickup and I ship worldwide. And yeah. you could contact me through Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, um, everywhere. But when, that, when you count an idea coming up, like a new design, is it something you have to draw out first? Oh no, it's something that I send to my manufacturers. I tell them, hey, I want this. And then that, they go ahead and make that and send it back to me. And then I either approve or decline it. Okay. So you're your own boss. It's pretty cool. Basically. That's Good the deal. best way. That's, that's, that is the best way. Mm -hmm. Trust me. So also, another thing I want to ask you, how long does it take to get, like if somebody's looking, first of all, where do they go on, on the website or what have you? How do they look at your collections? Uh, you just press a tab and you press shop. When you press shop, it shows all of my products right there. Okay, and so you go okay, Vic. So again, how long does it take to order it and it gets made by the manufacturer and comes to you? I don't put it on my website until it's done. So once you order it from my website, it will take no longer than two to three days to get it. Oh, well, wow. okay. Well, since you have that visionary mm -hmm. and you've thought about this as a freshman, she just got out of high school last year, 
Now what's the difference? Now what's going to happen later on? I mean, is there, you see storefronts maybe and stuff like that? It's only going to get bigger. I mean, I'm in yeah. school for business, so I'm learning so much about my business while I'm in school. That's wow, the thing that's that's, I really like about it. While I'm in school, I'm learning more each and every day about my business. That is incredible. And you see all people getting excited about your products and stuff like oh, that? Oh, yeah, huh? it's doing very good. <laughs> it is. So before you know it, you'll be getting, I mean, men are going to start asking you for stuff and all oh, that kind Lord. of good stuff. And <laughs> I mean, do you, you foresee yourself only doing women? I think I can see myself venturing off to men. I think I can. It'll come in the future. Right. We'll see. <laughs> cool deal. So, I mean, tell us about your mom. First of all, was your mom like, okay, give it up. That's never going to happen. Oh. I mean, I mean, because I mean, there's so many kids that have aspirations and what have you, but not only you had an aspiration, you actually just exploded with it and ran. I just, she was very supportive of it. She has her own business as well, New right. Decisions LLC, right. Mental Health. And she was very supportive. As soon as I told her I wanted to do it, she just was like, okay, let's get it. You need a business plan. You need to apply for college for business. You need to get in it. And I'm just like, that motivated me. Seeing her business grow so fast and quickly over the years, that motivated me to really know that I can do it. And she's like yeah. so supportive. And she's just my number one fan. I don't know what I would do without her. Oh, isn't that great? You got to do that. That's an awesome yeah. deal. Your mom will always be there for you. No question yeah. about that. She's a great lady. Yeah. All right, now let's talk about now also too, uh, when you got this going on and what have you. So let's talk about what you're going to do to grow the business as far as website i want to i want to ask you again where do you have to go to get kvic collection you go to www.shopkvickcollections.com you can reach me on instagram at shopkvic twitter at official kvic and facebook at shop kvic all right and cool the deal. link is always in my bio so why i know you're going to southern university but why partnership with southern university because southern university is my home this is where i grew up this is where i live like Southern University is me. Like my mom went to Southern University, so why not? Yeah. It's just, it's good promo, it's good publicity. It's, it's the route to go. And you know, and I think that it's so important because it's like, I don't know if you know this, but like the Saints were the first team to sell female jerseys mm -hmm. and also female clothes at the Saints in the National Football League. I didn't know that. Yeah, and so they, it started growing after that. So do you see something like this maybe happening for Southern University where definitely, you start definitely. getting some people wearing your stuff at Southern Games? Definitely, I do. That would be amazing. Yeah, I mean, how fast do you know that, hey, I did that? When somebody's wearing something, that's for my line. I mean, it's just all so real. I mean, it just happened overnight, honestly, and I couldn't be more excited that my business is growing so fast. I mean, do you see fashion shows up in New York City maybe one day? Absolutely, like the sky's the limit. Wow. Well, like I said, this is the first time I got to meet you, and I'm proud of you big time. I, I don't want to be condescending, but I think it's awesome, and it's great to meet a young mind, great mind like you. I mean, before you know it, billionaire. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> you see that? Billionaire, and my name is Chris Powers when you become a billionaire. Okay. <laughs> All right, congratulations Thank on that. You. I like that big time. And tell everybody, look in the camera again, tell everybody where do you need to go, because I can't say this enough. We can't say this enough, where do you need to go to buy that product? You go to www.shopkvickcollections.com. And thank you for supporting Southern University. Before. No problem. Thank Appreciate you. it. All right, we'll have Coach Roman Banks back here as we continue with the overtime series with Athletic Director Roman Banks. A closer look at Jaguar Athletics right here from School Boys Restaurant on Pelican Sports TV. Need to see a doctor fast? Lake Express Check-In lets you get in line, online. Visit ololrmc.com slash express to choose an estimated treatment time at one of our emergency room, urgent care, or physician office locations. A service of Our Lady of the Lake. Legendary Import Group. Distinguished service and detailed attention. You'll discover the only distinctive auto for the legend in you. Stop by 10660 Corsi Boulevard or phone 225-960-1191. It's game day. A day that should be spent in the living room, not the kitchen. So next game, you just worry about the score. Because we've got the food covered. With hand battered, cooked to order, always fresh, never ever frozen chicken fingers. Craveable cane sauce, crispy crinkle cut fries, and jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. 
Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers, one love. Official Chicken of Southern University. Woo! <laughs>
because travel is so expensive. Right. But for the most part, we can take the trip there. They can bring the trip back to us, and and I think it makes for a good rivalry for fans to be able to get there pretty easy. Right. And so, uh, you know, we look forward to that. All right. And I know you're looking forward to the bread pudding that we've got right here. The Overtime Series bread pudding that you've got. Overtime Series bread pudding oh, right here. And then the wings right here. And that got my attention. I might have to steal them from you, Cole. So, you know, that's that's the new special going right now. That I mean, is, everybody's all these wings good. all over the place. And so uh, they are, they got their own this season, own little flavor to and them. And smoke, so. too, right? Oh, yes. A little bit. They're not fried, so they may help you a little bit. That's it. Hey, <laughs> I got something I can eat. Unbelievable. Yes. So that is delicious. You can come by and get that. And look at that sauce right there is absolutely unbelievable as well. Uh, well, it's very tempting that. right now. Yeah. Do big time. Let's hurry up with that top, that clock moving. So. Yeah. <laughs> so we can dig in. But that's awesome deal right here. All right. So a lot of exciting things going on at Southern University. Not only this game against FAMU, but obviously next week our first conference game of the 2019 season going to Pine Bluff, Arkansas. Going to Pine Bluff. And I know that don't want to speak too fast. We want to take care of business here. But uh, we feel pretty good about taking our show on the road and, and after taking our show on the road, coming back for a pretty good contest. Yeah, I mean, crazy as that. And I'll have more of that next week. We'll talk about it. Uh, Southern has been in the SWAC since 1934. That's a lot of a seasons lot of, in that conference. That's right. And, uh, you know, we're, we're one of the treasure chests in our conference. Yeah. And, and uh, we talk about winning the cup. And so uh, as we rebuild uh, our legacy and we're out there winning the cup, and that means being dominant as an athletic department. That's the goal. Down, no question about that. All right, we hope you enjoyed this edition of Overtime with Athletic Director Roman Banks. A closer look at Jaguar Athletics. We'll be back here again every Wednesday. Remember that, and it gives an opportunity to be able for you to come get some delicious food, watch all the sports you want, and also come and watch and hear from uh, coaches. Come hang out overtime with us. Oh, yes, <laughs> definitely so. We'll see you here. I'm Chris Powers. We'll be back again next week right here from Scoreboards Restaurant on Pelican Sports TV. Go Jags!